A look at Big Dry Creek. Anything but. Flowing through irrigation ditches. This is extremely high. It's on Joe Miller's farm. And this is probably about a $200,000 structure here. Fortunately, it was in the right spot, I guess. Because it wasn't damaged. Miller says his water diversion systems called river head gates were not damaged. His big wheels still turn, opening and closing off water into his ditch system. But in river after river hit by the storm, more than 330 head gates have been impacted. The ongoing looming problem will be the rebuilding of the diversion structures. When the rains began almost two weeks ago, water to ditches on Joe Miller's farm was turned off. Still, there was so much rain. There's no words for it. This section of ditch was completely destroyed. This was just a giant washout. It came over the hill, the rainwater did, and just took out this whole area. It would have took weeks to wash this out, the amount of water we run in the ditch. Produce such as this might have a tough time making it to market next summer if head gates aren't repaired before the irrigation season starts. During the irrigating season, this giant gate you see here that I can barely turn, this will be, this will be all the way closed and our water will be diverted into our ditch. And right now we've just opened these up and just sent it back to the river. According to state numbers of the head gates inspected, 83 are unusable, 143 are damaged, and need construction while 38 others are simply gone, washed away with the flood. Miller says state leaders and consumers need to know how serious this problem is for farmers. We're talking millions of dollars just from, uh, you know, the north side of Denver just to Platteville here. There's going to be millions of dollars in ditch repairs. In Weld County, Champ Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.